Hi, this is Gilles, the radio prepper at the beach today to test my 9 to 1 Unun, the one that has the, uh, the choke in it, the choke and the uh, 9 to 1 in the same box. So I brought an 8 meter uh, wire with a 4 meter uh, counterpoise. I'm going to set up my mast here and uh, we'll test it out, see how it works. The uh, counterpoise wire here is uh, four meters long. I, I added a little uh, two millimeter banana uh, plug on it. And uh, on the other end, I put a little uh, crocodile clip so that I could extend the uh, counterpoise if I needed to with another piece of wire or clip it onto like uh, a barbed wire fence or anything like that. I'm going to uh, do a scan to uh, to see what's going on without the tuner. So just you know, curiosity basically. Although of course this type of antenna you always are going to use with a tuner. Interesting plot. Uh, lots of uh, SWR uh, below eight megahertz. And then, uh, yeah, up to uh, 23 here. Interesting. Uh, well, we'll see about the uh, performance then. Well, you probably won't see much. <laughs> it's a bit sunny, so uh, I'll try, I think, on uh, 15 meters uh, USB first, 21 megahertz. So I'm tuned to uh, 21285, which is the uh, frequency of this activation, this uh, beaches on the air activation, BOTA. Let's try it. Uh, it seems to work fine. Ah, someone is tuning. <laughs> Gonna wait that he finishes. I'm on, uh, yes, uh, 21285. Let's try. CQ, 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 CQ. This is uh, Tango Mike 06 Bravo Oscar. Tango Alpha, Bota Beaches on the Air, Tango Mike 06, Bravo, Oscar, Tango Alpha, QRZ. My friends often uh, mispronounce Beaches on the Air. <laughs> I don't have to tell you what they say, but it's really funny. Nobody on 15 meters. <laughs> Propagation turns out to be pretty bad today, my friends are telling me. So I got here a little bit later than, the, than they did and uh, they've been trying and uh, it's really not that great. So I'm trying on a, uh, 20 meters. I'll call and see if anybody replies. Dieter near Dresden. Peter from Dresden, thank you very much for the call. <laughs> so at least uh, the antenna is working, but I had no doubts. Uh, well, maybe a little, but uh, I knew that uh, CW was going to make it. Uh, SSB today just uh, it just isn't working that well. So and I'm uh, constrained to stay on uh, certain frequencies for the uh, activation. So. Uh, I can't really browse around or answer uh, CQs, so CW, that is much better, and uh, of course uh, that's often the case. And that's a good reason to learn Morse code, is to use CW to send Morse code and make contact when SSB just doesn't cut it. The antenna is tuning, uh, well the tuner is, is tuning the antenna very well and pretty quickly on, uh, I tried the 15, 17 and 20 meters, so 
uh, 30 meters on CW, so, you know, no problem on any bands uh, so far. Another contact. It's, it's putting everything together. All right, so yeah, it, that was. Um, the sanding here, uh, when you hear something like that, is, is uh, the guy is putting all the words to the letters together. Uh, th there is not really enough spacing for uh, to make it easy to decode. Uh, that's too bad because uh, it is going fast, but uh, it's it's a little bit. Uh, it's not quite clear enough. You know, uh, it's harder to decode than if you had good spacing. And uh, uh, something you have to pay attention to when uh, you learn Morse code uh, is to uh, to respect the uh, the spacing. We have a French Guyana on uh, 21288 and I'm going to try under my call sign All right, French Guyana. <laughs> I wasn't part of the contest, of course. He's going to be pissed, but uh, hey, I made the contact. So yeah, antenna works well also in USB on 15 meters. So positive result. I'm pretty happy about the antenna. Maybe that will uh, reconcile me with uh, 921s and random wires. Who knows? The fact of the matter is that uh, some radios are more sensitive than others to uh, uh, the return of RF current. So I think the, uh, the double uh, toroid with the uh, FT140-43 and the T106-2 is a good combination because uh, you have the transformation with the T106-2 uh, and you have the choke with the FT140-43. And of course I'm using a counterpoise so that helps too. So it seems to be working pretty well that way and uh, uh, the, the positive thing in my opinion is that you know it, it, you're not using your coax as a, a counterpoise basically but more importantly uh, you have only one box instead of two and you don't have a patch cable in between and that simplifies a little bit you know and that's what I like simplify uh, you know as best as you can and that's what it does. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, click the, uh, the thumb up and uh, make sure you select the little bell to get notifications. Thank you very much again to my uh, patrons on patreon.com, link down below. Uh, coffee donations, link down below as well, and crypto addresses. <laughs> All right, you'll have a good one. All right, because this website does cost me much more than what it brings me, I did sign up for an affiliate program with EMP Shield. We are all concerned about EMP's, you know, electromagnetic pulse, especially for radio equipment. And EMP Shield does provide protection for your whole home, for your vehicle and for your radios. Yes, for your antennas. I was a bit skeptical, I have to admit, but after looking at all the documentation they have and the uh, military testing they did, and those devices they uh, they offer are extremely fast to protect you uh, against EMPs, but also, of course, lightning. So it does look pretty legit to me. I got you a coupon for $50 off at EMP Shield, so don't forget to use it. It's radio prepper in one word or lower case. 
By the way, do use the link down below uh, rather than going to the site directly. That gives me more brownie points and you do save 50 bucks and I get a kickback. So don't hesitate to have a look at their website. I am learning more about it myself and all the products that uh, they offer. And I'll tell you the way the world is going right now. I think it's a good precaution. The solar cycle is uh, coming back and there will be a lot of solar activity. So we could get a natural EMP that's always a threat and you want to protect your electronics, your toaster, your washing machine, your oven, everything that has an electronic chip in it is at risk and you need a device that's fast enough to ground everything in nanoseconds so that when the power comes back, <laughs> you still have your electric and electronic devices. Once again, the coupon is Radio Prepper, one word, lowercase, and that will give you $50 off.